you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you how to make these white lacy seed beads earrings. I will show you really easy step by step how I'm doing this and the good thing is that you need only two colors of seed beads for them and regular ear wires. Of course you could make a pendant out of this. So now if you want to support me and see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe if you still haven't and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh beading ideas. My videos come twice a week and I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done and in this way you will be able to make beautiful sets. That's why it's a good idea to hit the no notification bell. You could also help me by liking, sharing and commenting and you don't know how much of a support this is. And um, down there in description you will find the full list of materials, links for Amazon where you could buy supplies from, links to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are two colors of 11 ounce seed beads, silver and black. And here I use ear wires. This is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters. I prefer to use monofilament for this work to stay firm. Okay, and I use size 10 beading needle and scissors. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and in my first step I'm going to take 18 silver beads. Okay, and now I have 18 beads on my needle. Okay, I have my 18 here and I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here I want to make a knot, okay? And I'm making my knot by making a loop with my tail thread and going once and then going second time through the loop I've made and I pull. Okay, and now guys, I want to make one more knot here. Okay, and I'm pulling. And now guys, I have this. And I will go here through some beads in this direction. After my knot, okay. Okay, and now I'm going to take three silver beads, just like that, and I'm skipping the one that's coming next after where my thread is going out of, and going through the following bead. Okay, and I pull. Then I'm going in my next seed bead. And I will repeat the same thing. Take three beads, okay? Skip the one that's on your way and go through the following. Okay, now I have this. Then I'm going to take, then what I do is that I go in my next seed bead. And I'm going to take three more beads okay like that and now I'm skipping one but just to be faster I go not only through the next one but through the one after that and in this way I'm saving time and now I'm going to take three more seed beads skip one and go through the two after that okay and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. Okay guys, now I have this beautiful star. And what I want to do next is to exit 
through one of its angles. Okay, I'm going here through this angle bit like that. And this is my tail thread, okay. And here, guys, what I need are four black beads, okay. And I'm going to take four beads. And as I'm exiting from this angle, I will go here through this following angle, okay. I have my four. Then again, I'm going to take four like that and go in my next angle and by the way uh, if this tail thread is on your way you could come here and cut it as close as possible to your work okay and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row adding four beads Okay, and here are my last four beads that I'm adding. Now I have this, and in my next row, what I'm going to do is go in the following black, okay, in the first black here. Here is where my thread is, and I'm going to take four black beads again. Okay, I'm skipping th these two here and going in the last black one. Last of my four. Okay, now I have this. Then I will go through the silver and through the following black. I will take four beads. like that for skip those two beads and if you can in one movement go also through the silver and through the following black okay I will show you one more time one two three four skip these two beads in the middle and go through the following three black silver black okay and continue these three more times until the end of this row. Okay guys, now I have this beautiful element. By the way, don't hesitate to stop at any stage of this work and use the element. Okay, now I'm going out of these three black beads, one, two, three, and I'm going to take one black and I will go through the next three black beads and you could also go through the silver. And I'm pulling. Then what I do is that I go through the following three beads. Take one black bead and go here through all of those beads. You see how I'm making angles here. Okay, and then I will show you one more time. Go through these three beads at one black bead. Then again, go through the following three blacks and the silver. Okay, and I'm going to continue this off camera three more times and then I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next.
Okay guys, and now I'm adding my last seven beads here. And I'm going through the black one that's sticking out. And I also went through the next silver. So I'm ex exiting out of this first silver. Okay. And what I want to do next is take three silvers, skip the next one. And go through the following three beads. Okay. Now I have this. Then I'm going to take three more silvers. Skip the next one that's on my way. And go through the black and through the following silver. Okay, this is what I do. And I pull. Then I'm going to take three more silvers like that. Skip the next one and go through the following three beads. Okay. Three seed beads like that. Skip one and go through the last silver. Then also go through the black and through the first silver of your next seven beads. Now take three silver beads. Skip the one that's on your way. Go through the following three. Then take three more, skip this one and go through the following three. Okay. Now continue these guys the same way like I did from this side, repeat it from here and I'll do this off camera and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and I'm here where I'm adding my last three silver beads from this row. Okay, now I have this and here I might want to make an additional step and I want to go here through all of those silver beads in this direction. Pull tight like that. And in this way, I will make those triangles here stick out more like those here. Okay. So go around one more time and I'll be back. Okay, guys. And I went around this circle here and now at this stage you might see how my work has a, a slight bend and I like this effect. Okay, and now I'm going to continue with my next row. And for my next row what I'm going to do is go through those silver beads and exit through one of my angles. like that and I want to take four black beads okay I have my four here and I'm going through the next angle bead take four more okay four and go through the following angle Again, four beads and go in the next angle. Okay, guys, like I did before, I will do this off camera, adding four beads everywhere, and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last four beads from this row. And I will exit through the silver and also through the following black bead. Now my band is forming. Okay. 
Then I'm going to take five black beads. Okay, I have my five here. And I will skip these two beads here. I'm exiting out of the first black, skipping the next two, and going through the black, through the silver, and through the following black. Here I am. Now I'm going to take five more black beads. Okay, I have five here. Skipping the two, the next two beads and going through the following three. Black, silver, black. Okay. And I'm going to take five more black beads. Okay, I have this. Skipping the next two and go through the following three beads. Okay guys, and I'm going to continue doing this until the end of this row and then I'll be back to tell you how to finish the last row of your earring. Okay, and I have my last five beads and I'm going here through the black and through the following silver. Okay, and I pull. Then in my next step guys, I will go through the following three black beads like that. I will skip this middle one here and I will go through the next two beads. Then I will pull this middle bead a little bit and I will make an angle here. You see how it looks like an angle? I'm making this new thread pad. Okay, then I'm taking one silver bead skip this black here and go through these two black beads and pull and you see these beautiful silver beads then skip this one at the angle and go through the following two beads so if you don't see my thread it's going out of these two beads here you see and I'm skipping the angle and going through the following two. Then take one silver here and skip this black one and go through the following two black beads like that. Okay. Then I will skip this here at the angle, I'm skipping it, and going through the following two black beads. And when I pull, if it doesn't want to go out, pull it a little bit with your needle and pull again. Take one silver, as I'm exiting from this black here, I will go through these two black beads in this direction, pull, skip this middle one and go through the following two beads, okay, then again pull, then a silver one, and Go through those two silver beads, uh, black beads, sorry, and pull. And now I'm going to skip this one at the angle, and I will go through the following two black beads, okay. And I'm going to continue this until the end of this row and I will do this off camera and when I'm up to here I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last silver bead from this row. Just like that. And I want to exit through this angle bead here. 
Okay. Now it's time to attach my ear wire. Okay. And I want to attach my ear wire in this direction because here where my band is will be the front side of my earring. Okay. That is why I want to attach my ear wire like this. Okay. And I'm going to take one silver bead. I will go here through my ear wire. Slide those down and take one more seed bead. Also slide those down like this. And I want my ear wire to be between those two silvers. Okay, but I'll fix it later. Okay, and now I will go here through this angle bead. Okay. Like that. This is what I want to have here, and I'm going to reinforce this part. Okay, guys, now I have this. And now it's time to make a knot and cut my thread. Okay. And in order to make a knot, I prefer to go here at the angle. Okay. And in order to make a loop here, to make a knot here, I'm making first a loop. And what I do is that I go once and then I go second time through the loop I made. I make sure that my thread is between those two beads where I started my knot from and I pull. Then I go through the following C bead. And I cut my thread and my earring is ready. Okay. Now I have this beautiful earring ready. You see how it looks. Okay guys, and now my white lacy seed bead earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe if you still haven't and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos twice a week in Monday and in Thursday. Sometimes I make bonus videos in Saturday. Okay, and uh, in this way you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself because I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done. And uh, you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this section. And if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description, you will find a full list of materials Links for Amazon where to buy supplies from, links to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.